Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if a just-in-time debugger handled a Win32 exception error or has occurred in Outlook. So this should hopefully be a fairly straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So what we are going to do first is open up the Star menu, type in Control Panel, Best match, circle back with control panel listed right above app. So go ahead and left click on that. Set your view by to large icons and then locate the system option. Just left click on it one time. Select advanced system settings on the left side. Select the advanced tab if it isn't automatically directing you here. And then underneath performance, visual effects, processor scheduling, memory usage, and virtual memory, select the settings button. Select data execution prevention. And you want to make sure to turn on DEP for essential Windows programs and services only is selected. And once you're done with that, go ahead and select OK. Select OK again, close it here. If you have to make any changes in there, you want to go restart your computer and see if the issue has been resolved. Otherwise, we're ready to move on, and our next method is going to be going through the registry editor. So, open up the star menu, type in reg edit, best match, check it back, or registry editor. Right click on that, and then select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. Now, before you proceed in the registry, I would suggest you create a backup of it, so if anything went wrong, you could easily restore it back. And in order to create the backup, it is very simple. Just would go and select the File tab, and then Export. File name, I'd recommend naming it the date that you are making the backup. Save it to a convenient location on your computer, and Export range should be All, so make sure it's set to All here. And if you ever need to import it back in, very simple. Just would select File, and then Import, and navigate to the file location. So again, pretty straightforward. And now we're ready to begin. So. We're going to start by double clicking on the HK local machine folder. Do the same thing now for the software folder. Same thing for Microsoft. Locate.NET Framework. Actually, it would be pretty close to the top here because you have a little dot out front. Let's just go ahead and left click on that one time. And now on the right side, there should be something that says DBG Manage Debugger. You want to go ahead and just right click on that and select delete. Select yes. And now that you've done that, we want to go and locate underneath Microsoft so we don't have to collapse any of this stuff. We're just going to go now underneath Microsoft and now we're going to locate Windows. And in case it wasn't clear before, you can just check up at the top of the screen here. You can see each folder we're under based on the path, each backslash is a different folder thus far. So anyway, we're going to go underneath Windows NT now. Double click on it. Should be a current version folder. Double click on that as well. Now near the top there should be something that says AE Debug. Go ahead and left click on that. Now please note, if you need to pause the video like I just said, you can see the path up at the top of the screen here. You're welcome to slow the video down, pause it, rewatch parts of it. That's a great thing about a video. So. Anyway, on the right side, there should be something that says Debugger. Go ahead and right-click on it and select Delete. Select Yes. Now you can just close out of here and restart your computer, and that should be about it. You can also attempt to reinstall Microsoft Visual Studio 2010 or whatever version you're having the problem with. That could also be a cause for this, too. But just wanted to give you guys common fixes for this problem. And as always, thank you for watching. And I do hope this was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.